Hey YouTube, so today we're gonna assemble this Better Homes and Gardens coffee table slash TV stand. And it rolls, that's why I got it. I need something that rolls instead of just stands there to make it easier to move because I have a big TV on it. And it's actually replacing the one under it, which is much less expensive and much less sturdy and it held up fine. So this one is gonna be way stronger and better. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So step one, take away this plastic. It's actually pretty heavy. It must be decent wood that it's made out of. Hopefully taking apart the box was the hardest part. Ooh. Fancy. So here we have part A, and it looks like the tabletop. Let's take it aside, try to brush this stuff off. And it looks like it's pretty close to the same size as the other one. So it might work very nicely. And it feels nice and hard. This is real wood. This is real wood. So here are the legs, much stronger than what I have here before. And here it looks like the bottom shelf. You know, this doesn't seem too bad for 120 bucks. This is definitely real wood. It's not that fake stuff. And it's very solid, very strong looking table, very strong legs. But wait, there's more. Under that we've got more foam. I guess these are the cross beams that go on the outside that hold the table up. That's good, let's take those over here. Then we have four of these wheels and all the screws you can imagine. And the instructions, I should use those. Let's get rid of this stuff, all this dirty stuff. I gotta throw it away. I'm not keeping this. I think that was the cleanest unboxing of this kind of stuff ever. All right, we have a clean slate here. What's next step? Next step is to look at step one. Fasten four metal brackets G to lower connect tubes D. Use four 5 16th pan head screws P. Okay, fasten four metal brackets. G, so let's get G's. They're probably in that little baggie. Okay, so here I've got two D's, four G's. I sound like a rapper. And four P's, these little screws. What this doesn't come with is a screwdriver. So do I have a drill? It does come with like a little wrench looking thing, whoops. So it looks like it doesn't come with a screwdriver, but it does come with like a little wrench. But yeah, it does come with a, um, do I have a drill? Let's see if a drill will save the day. Enter light duty drill to save the day with an extremely worn out bit. <laughs> okay, so from what I see in these instructions is I have to look at which side these are at and these are gonna be on the outside. And these brackets go on these two, the second holes, because those are for something else, on both of them. But I have to make them have an outside. The outside is where the, the holes are. So now they're both inside to each other, outsides are outside to each other. And the legs of these point outside. And the long side sticks up. Okay, so here goes nothing. I think I'm doing right. Not going in very well. So that didn't work. So let's try this. I'm using this because I don't have a regular screwdriver on me. My bad. It's just not going in though. Is there another side to this? Nope, there's nothing on the other side. It's just very tough to go in. Easy going, not here. Yeah, so it gets stuck right there. You really have to power it in. The quality control thing, I think, because if you can't, if it makes it difficult to do this with a standard thing that you might have around the house, then that's a problem. Okay, it's not straight. It would be a little bit easier with a regular screwdriver, but I don't think that much easier. This is still gonna be a difficult thing. See, it snags up right there. 
Uh, tighten it. Press down. Should not strip it. And finish it up. That's tight. Definitely tight. Okay. That's those four. Finish that. Okay, so it looks like I use screws just to screw this into these. Okay, let's do it. So I need four screws. Four G's, baby. Considering the trends, I think I'm gonna have to get up and give it some more elbow grease. At least I'll get it started. That's tight. That's not turning. Looks tight to me. Then I have to do the other side. And I have to make sure that they're both on the same side of themselves. Or else it'll be backwards and that'll be annoying. Okay, let's tighten this thing up. I'm sort of noticing this does move around a bit, so I'm hoping how straight I got the other side doesn't matter too much. But we won't know for a minute. Power. I better loosen up this other side and straighten it out because I don't want that to cause an issue later on. Nice to make sure this side's tight because I felt it moving a little bit. Yep, definitely moves. Still moving. They're all freaking moving. I think the reason that they're still moving and not really catching is because they don't use washers here or anything in between. It's sort of like, uh, that's not good. So I'll just try it as hard as I can and leave it at that because there's nothing I can do. as I can do it. Is this side moving? Nope, that side's not moving anymore. So I'll try to do the same thing over here. Hopefully it works. All I can do is tighten it as hard as I can. That's better, they're not moving. That's as good as I can do, good grief. Is, there any, is anything gonna be easy in this thing? Next page, you go away. Oh, so you have to put that middle bracket on the D's as well. Oh God, here it goes. I knew there was something missing. That'll do. Next. Freaking next. What's the next step? My freaking hand. Ah. Fasten the lower connect tubes to the bottom B. Okay, bottom B. This looks like a bottom B. I see some holes there. One, two, right, three. And for this, connect the Ds to B. With P's. <laughs> It looks like it would go this way. Oh man, this is the easiest part of the whole thing. Look at that. So you can't use the drill for that other part because it's too hard. Drilling into metal doesn't work. Oops, I have to hang this off. Oh, 
Oh, that was the easiest part of the whole thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, step three. So fasten middle connect tube F to lower connect tubes D. So I was supposed to put this on after that, but no, that was never gonna happen. Screw that, I did it the right way. And then I used some one inch screws for this part. So I'm gonna get some ends. Just two of them. See, I'm decently handy. Okay, so that's done. Next is, warning, do not completely tighten the bolts and screws in this step, okay? Fasten the leg frame C to connect tubes D and E. This one's the bottom, I assume. Don't really get how this works yet, but it looks like this will go inside of that little hole. There's hope for me yet. There we go. Let's stick that out a little bit. So it looks like the only entry hole I have for these O bolts is the half inch bolts is here and here. And here they are. So there's one, but it says you need eight. I only see two holes here. Oh yeah, because you need to go up there too. So let's try it. Oh geez, this doesn't look like a good spot. It's not staying in there. These are the right ones. This hole has to be there. Oh, I do see it. No, I see it. And it's, it also said not to completely tighten it yet during this step. Yeah, see, now I get, now I get to screw it in. I have to pull this up a little bit. So something I'm working on is trying to get this hole aligned so I can actually get to it. It looks like now I have to drive this down a little bit further. Ouch, that's too much. Up, up. All right, now I can see the hole. Okay, that is done. Good grief, I'm so tired of that. Whew, what is next? Oh yeah, I need to put E up there too. So E goes up here. Four more of these, this is so terrible. Good. This, I really need to make sure I put it on the right side up. So which side goes inside? It looks like a side with holes. Both of these sides. Both of these sides have holes, but it's more strong on this side. Okay. Although I'm realizing something, God, this bottom board is backwards. You know what, I'm going to save my battery for this part. See you in about half an hour. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so that never happens. Now we go to the next step and the obvious next step is to put the top of the table on the top. So back to where I was before. Where should these screw holes go? I think they should go on the top. And I can sort of see right now why it said not to tighten these all the way because you need to extend them out a little bit to be able to fit this bar into each side. That makes sense. Actually, the way I can determine it, which way it goes, 
is I should look at where those holes are in the picture. It looks like they're on the inside. It's not really easy to see, but I think that's what it is. And that's where they are right now. So let's do this. And that's what I'm sort of assuming too, because this is the side that it looks like it drills into in this, these screw holes. And obviously the tabletop goes on the top. So yeah, let's do that. So let's stick this out. And these go into there. That goes into there. Then these squeeze together, obviously. And now I can proceed to getting the other four of these Allen wrench screws and alloning them in. Okay, so all those, all those are done. Next step. All right, so next step, I flipped it around and it looks like I need some metal brackets. I already have metal brackets there, but now I have to put them over here, attaching to the leg frames. All right, so now I'm remembering what kind of ordeal it was putting these things on. And I'm hoping it's not like that, but I know I need this and a lot of freaking tenacity. Okay, so this goes here. Oh, now it's tight. There we go. And in that case, now I can simply do the easy part. Oh God, that's so easy. Okay, so those are on there, and I admit that was a little bit easier since I didn't have a big pillar right in the way. So that's done. Next step. Now I need to do fasten leg frame C to top A using Allen wrench with the 1 9 16 inch machine screws and the Allen wrench. And those are on the bottom down there, which you can't see very well, so I'll have to get down there. But yeah, here it goes. At the top, on the table, upside down. I can't get this part wrong. Can I? Yeah, see there, here are the holes. Here are the holes for the Allen wrench screws. So this goes on top. Ah. Now I just need to match these holes up. One thing's for sure, they're not gonna go in unless I have them matched up perfectly. So that's gonna take a minute. Lift that up. There we go. I got it in there. I'll screw it in. I'll do the same thing with the other side. Okay, so next part of the instructions. The tabletop is on the table. And what's next here? So I used leg frames to the top using the M screws. Now next is fasten middle connect to F to top A using two pan screws. N. N. That would be these. And it looks like they go down here. This can also be done with a drill, I believe. So that page is finished. Next is step five. Tighten all the balls and screws from the previous steps, which I just need to do the um, Allen wrench ones. Fasten casters H to leg frame C. Casters H, casters are wheels, and you fasten them using L's and I's. So let's get some L's and I's. I hope it doesn't matter what side I put this on, but I will use the wrench that they give us, J. Okay, I tightened it too much. Now it doesn't roll. I don't want to do that. Untighten it. It doesn't say not to tighten it too much, but I guess I should have known that since this is not totally strong steel. 
I guess that's a built-in wheel lock. <laughs> I'm sort of wondering how this is supposed to roll if these don't spin. This is not making sense. This is not making sense. This definitely doesn't spin. Is it really supposed to roll? Did I just get like a rolling table that's not meant to roll? Because all these wheels are sticking out in different directions. Oh God, whatever. It'll roll better than the other one I have. You'd think if you get something that says it's a rolling thing or that it has wheels, that it'd be built to roll. Ouch, but that's clearly not the case here, or maybe it is, I don't know. Maybe it just rolls somehow that way. This is not making sense now that I think about it, now that I've bought it and have built it. But the positive though is that these legs, the frames are much stronger and whatever it's holding, it'll hold it better because it's much stronger and sturdier. And that's what I need because this is a very expensive TV that's going on it. And that's what it is. So the wheels are on there. Apply warning label to the top. You should be able to read the label when the TV is removed from the unit. When the TV is in place, it should hide the label. So I have to put a label. Um, never use this furniture with a TV that is too large or too heavy. Severe injury or death can occur. TV must weigh less than 70 pounds. The base of the TV must be able to sit completely on the shelf. You want me to put this on the top of the table? This is a permanent table. This is a permanent label. Do not try to remove. Surface will be damaged. Then I'm not going to put it. Screw you guys. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> the table's done. The table is done. Let's check it out. Let's this thing. See how it works. I don't want to roll too much right now because it's late. Let's see what I'm starting to get angry. Ah. Hey, it actually sort of rolls. That's not bad. Perfect. So it looks like it's the same height, around the same size as the other one. I'm happy with this thing. Much more strong and stable than this cheap old thing. This is gonna hold smaller TV. This is gonna hold a big TV. Ready to go. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed watching my struggles with this thing. It's sort of like a test to see how the instructions are, how well built it is, and how easy it is to put together, and you just saw every bit of it. I'm a normal person, I'm not like a total handyman, but I'm gonna, I can do this but it wasn't very easy. I like how it comes out to be. This is nice, strong table, but it just wasn't easy to put together. Um, you know, it was really hard. It was hard to put together, but it worked out. So thanks for watching this and hope you enjoyed my adventures. And if you like this, subscribe and I have all other kind of, and I have all other types of videos out there. So thanks for watching. Time for a beer.